420 Kings Grow in Ontario. As promised, I'm uh, going to be modifying this um, bubble bag dude washing machine to get rid of that uh, hose that's uh, sitting there that's uh, corrugated and just not ideal. So first things first is that I removed the two screws here and then this popped off right away. So I'm like, okay, let's see what's in here. I go, okay, there's a motor with the belt that turns it and there's the hose in there. So what I decided to do is not mess with this. I'm gonna take this this part of this part of the tube off or tub off, okay? And there's four screws. There's one screw here, one screw here. You need a fairly long screwdriver to get to these screws, but it's not that big a deal. I'm just gonna put this down here for a second and switch the, the tub over to show you the other two screws. So the other two screws are located there and there. So you'll just get a backup view. So this side and this side. So there's two, and then those two that are up in there, and and then what happens is, is then the tub is then free, okay? But the thing is, with the tub being free like that, you've got these wires that run up here to the switch. I've taken these two screws off to see what it looks like in here, and I, I don't even know what's going on there, so I'm going to leave that there. What there is here is they have this bag of wires and connections. And this bag is tie, it's like a little tie strap right here, a little zip tie, whatever you want to call them. So I cut that, and I pull this, I can get this out now. Okay, this bag, this is a great waterproofing bag here. But I'll probably replace that with a Ziploc bag or some electrical tape and, you know, get it an actual good seal because it was just a little seal with this, like a little zip tie like this, okay? But anyway, so now that I've got this pulled out, I've got enough room with the wires to be able to pull the tub off. So let's do that next. So, pulling the tub off and getting the hose out, it's gonna give me better access to this hose and what I'm gonna have to do. So what happens is, now that I've got that off, okay, what you can see is down in here in the inside of this, you're gonna see, okay, here's, here's a belt that runs from here around to the tub right so that sits on there I'll have to put that back on when I do it but no big deal but anyway so here's the here's the the the, the tub so it's just the, the hose that goes into the tub so it's just glued on there with some sort of glue I, I, I mean again it's made in China that's what they put in there right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this off with a razor blade peel this off clean this all up and then get myself some clear straight hose that doesn't have all these little nooks and crannies for everything to do and I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna hose clamp it on this so um, I don't have <coughs> the proper length of hose and I don't have the hose because I, I think I wanted this hose to be a little bit longer too just to get out so what I think I'm gonna have to do is cut this do that get this hose clamp on there get it back sealed make sure it doesn't leak before I put it in here with all the electrical stuff because all the electrical stuff's underneath once it doesn't leak, perfect, I will then run the hose back through here and I'll get some sort of tap or a, an elbow or I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do yet. Once I get to the hardware store, I'll see what they have and go from there. So yeah, um, and I think I'm going to have to probably, because I, I want this hole to be, I want this pipe, to, this, I, like this hose is going to be, the, the hose I'm going to replace it with is going to fit onto here. It's not going to come down and be smaller. So... It'll probably be this full length the whole way, and it won't fit on that hole. So I might have to do some cutting there with a knife and just make this a little bigger or a Dremel or something. Um, or I could, in theory, put a, a piece on there, glue it, and then a reducer. But I don't want to reduce it. I want decent flow, and I don't want to have to worry about it. So, uh, yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put this on pause. I'm going to cut this off. Go to the home, or, home hardware and see what they got <clears throat> for parts that'll fit here and uh, start the video back up when I'm uh, putting the new hose on. Be back in a few. Uh, so just to let you guys know, I don't, I don't wanna, just so you're not getting in here with your knife and going crazy. I, I just scored it just a bit. And then what I did was I cut into here, um, like, you know, under this part where it's not near the pipe. Cause what I don't wanna do is I don't wanna gouge this like crazy. And then when I'm putting on my new pipe for it to cause a leak or anything like that. So now I'm just going through and I'm just gonna hand pull off the rest of this stuff. Like I said, if I have to go back in there and make some more cuts with the knife, I will. But I, I think th th this plastic's pretty cheap. So it, 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 it's gonna tear and come off uh, with a little bit of a, a score line that I put in there and not going into the plastic. 
uh, it should be all right. All right, so I got it off. There is a fair bit of glue left over. You want to make sure this is clean. You don't want to put that other hose on there with some with the hose clamps. And if it's not clean, it's just going to be uh, just going to be a nightmare to get this for it to stop sealing. So, anyways, make sure you clean off. Get a, some sort of something to scrape that off. I didn't get a didn't even get a line where I cut my uh, cut into it, so it should be good to go. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So what I've done is I've gone to Home Hardware and I've bought eleven dollars worth of parts. So I bought a, an elbow and a cap. I got two feet worth of it's one inch outside diameter pipe with three quarter inch inside diameter pipe. Now this pipe, uh, I definitely had to uh, use a heat gun to get over this um, spot. Uh, I would suggest that you do the same thing or a blow dryer or something because it's uh, it's fairly snug. I think we probably could have done without the, with the clamp, but because there's electrical in here, I for sure don't want that to leak. Um, so what I've done here is I've also gone through and I've gotten a Ziploc bag and I've gotten some electrical tape and I've sort of made it a little bit more waterproof than it was before. I mean, maybe, maybe not, but regardless, um, I took that other bag off and the zip tie was gone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck it in behind the hose in here. I'm going to ratchet, or not ratchet strap, I'm going to put some zip ties in there because what happens is you got to be careful of it, the, 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 the pulley in there, right? So it attaches to this motor and it turns. You don't want to just jam this in there and, and you know, it's sitting it kind of in here and it rubbing up against that pulley, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get it in here strap it down so that it's nowhere near that and that's going to be done so for 11 bucks <coughs> excuse me I, I think uh, 11 bucks is, is, is decent little add-on to this unit units whatever it is you'll see the price once you click the link in the description but uh, not overly crazy and then you don't have to break your back trying to wash and mix water and ice and Yada yada yada. So um, that's about it for this unboxing. And this, or I guess it's not the unboxing. This is the modification one. There is an unboxing video, which uh, you can see all the stuff that comes with it, um, which I've done previously. And now I will be doing a new video, um, actually using it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using it um, with the bag, like the the work bag in the unit with the same amount of material and the same material without the work bag and see the kind of difference between it. I also went and got some other parts because um, I don't have a freeze dryer, something like that and or something like this. I'm going to try both and see what uh, works out for doing it. There's the old heat gun that I use. So yeah, that's about it for this uh, modification video. Like, subscribe, do a lot of jazz, check out my other channel. My channel's got a bunch of other grow videos and other videos in, in relation to uh, medical cannabis so uh, check us out like subscribe all that stuff one last thing before I leave I just thought I would uh, show you the leak test and uh, how this thing runs it's quite a bit of current in there quite a little whirlpool sucking it down so I think this is gonna work uh, wonders for my back I don't have to do the drill and uh, this and the that and all a bunch of other things so no leaks underneath I got a leak at my elbow so I'm gonna have to fix that but no big deal pretty straightforward all right guys this time it's goodbye